the misery, the suffering and the hardship and the cruelty that is being imposed on thousands of children, tens of thousands of people in, uh, on housing waiting lists, 144,000, the 10,000 people who are homeless is just intolerable and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. The more we talk, the worse it gets. Uh, and in my opinion, it is just the bitter fruits of the disastrous decision that your government took alongside, it has to be said, Labour in 2011 to stop building council housing and outsourcing it to the private sector uh, and your failure to admit for years that there was a crisis uh, and uh, now still your failure to actually do what is necessary. And I'm just so sick of it. I'm so sick of it, Minister. Um, two weeks ago, I read this email out to you um, from a woman with three children. Right? I'll read it again because there's a postscript to it now. Uh, unfortunately, due to the bleeping uh, HAP rules, we are not able to rent the house in Enniskerry as we can only get 1500 for Wicklow. Uh, so on Friday, we are moving into a hotel in Bray which is going to cost them, i.e. the public, you, uh, wait till you see 4390 a month. Wouldn't it be easier and cheaper to let me have the Dublin rate? Um, I've emailed Omer, I, I'm, I'm emailing Owen Murphy and our local TD, Simon Harris, as a matter of urgency. It took me three months to find this house in Enniskerry. And, uh, there, there's nothing in North Wicklow, she goes on, under 2000, uh, and Dublin is even hi higher. I'm so angry upset and scared. Uh, my daughter is, is totally distraught. Um, she was all set to move into the new place. So she'd found a place. Um, now, Mary, who works with you, did get on to HAPS, and HAPS uh, said, sorry, nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Uh, about 200 metres away from where that house is, you can get the limit. Right? And then it's scary. Because the, the Dunleary Bray border cuts through that. So, houses that are literally a stone's throw from each other, one you can get the 1950 on apps, but on the other one you can only get, uh, I think it's 990 or something. Or sorry, 1440. But the, the property is 1950, which is the Dublin limit. So, she's now in a hotel costing us 4,300. Uh, and she writes Hi, Richard. I thought I'd touch, ba touch base with you today. Today has been tough. It's been the first day that I've really felt wobbly. I can feel the darkness coming. As I told you, my mental health is a huge issue for me. Trying to keep everything together is starting to take its toll. I've made an appointment to see my GP tomorrow. It's only been five days since we moved in here, into the hotel. I don't know what triggered it, but this morning I woke up and I just knew things have shifted. I'm scared for the four of us. My eldest is working a summer job. My middle guy is here in the room trying to block it all out. Uh, my girl has been at school but finishes tomorrow. To add to it all, she says a few things I think it's better not even to mention, but they're not good things. Uh, and she says, I'm sorry to have to tell you all about this. I've been down the dark road of suicide before and I'm scared that this will go on and on. I don't know how I'm going to cope or the kids. Uh, that's what's going on. And I'm just sick of it, Minister. Absolutely sick of it. And so are the people who are suffering this. These are pictures of uh, emergency accommodation in Stilorgan. Those are cockroaches crawling the place. Crawling the place. Uh, that's a dead rat. Uh, that's food that has to be kept in plastic uh, bags so it doesn't get affected by the uh, rampant mould and so on in the place. Uh, this is correspondent from people who are in Klonski, DHRE uh, accommodation, where they have their children. Uh, where, because children don't have a proper place to play, another resident, and they're not blaming the other resident, uh, but the children shouldn't have been in the company of uh, this resident probably, were given a BB gun. A BB gun. Uh, young children running around with a BB gun, which is a very dangerous uh, weapon for a young child. Uh, their complaints to, and I believe they've written to Catherine's opponent and everything, about the way this was handled. If you read the stuff when you go into this emergency accommodation, it says children's safety will be absolute priority, uh, that there's protocols for dealing with all this kind of stuff. None of that has been followed. None of it's been followed. 
They're thinking of taking legal action over the negligence uh, in terms of the states uh, uh, minding the welfare of their children. And the, st the stories just multiply. I get calls every week from the Hope and Dunleary about uh, the difficulties people are facing in there. And then they're told, go and find HAPS. They're told there's a thing called uh, the Place Finders Service. This is a joke, Minister. It's an absolute joke. There is no Place Finder Service because there are no places to find within the HAP limits. They don't exist. And the people who work in the council know they don't exist. That's why they don't really do a Place Finder Service because the places are not there. Uh, and when you do, if you're lucky enough to find a place, it's over the limit and then you can't get the uplift to the, to the place. And you're stuck in the hub or the hotel or the emergency accommodation in these kind of conditions, which are mental health breaking down, where you're terrified for the well your, welfare of your children. And it just goes on and on and on. And sitting side by side with that, Minister, I mean, just in my area, I know, and this is what really drives me around the twist, that there are perfectly good apartments sitting empty on Dunleary Main Street, and these are just the ones I know and I've mentioned three times in here, uh, in the hands of Apollo, a vulture fund, who bought them off NAMA. And it's sitting on eight or nine empty properties, sitting there empty, perfectly good, that those families could be living in. In Balali, the Robin Hill Apartments, 25 apartments sitting there that were sold by NAMA, that NAMA refused to, to give to Dunleary Rat Down County Council when they asked to buy them, they're still six or seven years on sitting there empty. Nothing done about it. And Cerebus, who had the vulture fund who owned them now, watching the value of that property clock up and up and up. And they're going to walk away without paying any tax. Because Michael Noonan brought in tax breaks to invite these people in to speculate on Irish property and they will pay nothing on the rental income, on the ones that do rent, but on the ones that are sitting there empty, the capital gains on, they'll walk away without paying a cent in tax. That's what's going on. The misery of these families and children is the flip side of the coin of the extortionate, greed-driven profiteering of uh, vulture funds and landlords that your policies have facilitated and continue to facilitate. So I ask you, where is the place finder service that will knock on the door of, of Apollo and say, we want that apartment and we are demanding that those apartments are made available to the people who are suffering in the hubs? Where is that place finder service? You can't, when you go down to Dunleary Rat Down County Council, I'm sure it's the same everywhere else, you don't see a sign saying place finder service. There's no place where it's sitting there and you can look and you can go in. And that's what there should be. There should be a big sign, place finders. We are the people who help you find a place that's sitting there in the morning and you know that they will be there from nine to five and you know that there will be people in the council whose job will be solely to be looking for those places and have the powers to go and take them and give them to the people who are homeless. Right? Anything less is just nonsense at this stage. And then we have public land being sat on. The a report, 114,000 dwellings could be built on the land that the local authorities and NAMA have. 114,000. What's happening on these sites? Nothing. For the most part, absolutely nothing. And that doesn't even take into account the semi-states, right? Like CIE, who sells sites down to Johnny Ronan down there on Spencer Dock. You know, that's what they've done in London. The Transport Authority in London is using its property to provide affordable housing. But if what does CIE do? It's allowed by the government to sell it to Johnny Ronan, who then goes into NAMA, buys his way out of NAMA eventually with the support of, guess who, the Vulture Funds, and is now back in business, uh, building properties down there in Spencer Dock that nobody will be able to afford. But the value of the properties clocking up and up and up. But the misery of the people who are living in homeless accommodation or waiting 15 or 20 years on housing lists goes on and on and on. Now, when are we going to do something about this, Minister? And it requires radical action. It requires doing things that so far this government has refused to do. 
which is go in and get those properties and pass whatever emergency legislation is necessary to get those empty properties and to commence immediately building public housing on the land that we Thank have. You, Otherwise, this is just this human misery is just going to get worse and worse and worse. Deputy John Collins.